So we only have a few hours today because our cruise ship has been running into bad weather coming out of New York. So we are going to try to find as many beaches that we can find in as short amount of time as possible on a scooter. First step, Glass Beach. So this is actually just like maybe a three, four minute motor scooter ride from the port. I guess I could have taken my helmet off. <laughs> Figure if I'm gonna be walking on cliffs, I'll just keep the helmet on. Be totally honest, you could walk here from the port if you didn't have any. Look, there's all your glass. So what the deal is, this glass is actually just trash. Bottles and all kind of other stuff. Like this is a Heineken bottle. It goes into the ocean currents and it gets bounced around and flushed up against the shores and rolled and it's smooth, it won't cut you. You can actually just walk on all this glass. So if you have a blanket or something like that, you can easily come jump out here and chill and go almost have a beach all to yourself. I'm leaving our mark. Or you're getting carried away, dude. We ain't got this kind of time. And you people want to see like more beaches. As a side note, if you wanted to rent one of these cars, yeah, you're gonna have to call ahead. Make sure you get the one at the dockyard. But you gotta book them ahead of time because they only have so many. They have way more scooters. Back in Bermuda We only have five hours. We got a lot to do. So our next beach stop in Bermuda is one of the more popular ones you've probably read about if you've done any research and it is called Horseshoe Beach. Now they are known for pink sand. Don't be disappointed and you have to look careful for the pink sand but it is there. There's also a lot of caves. There's people that are here to sell you chairs and umbrellas. They are $20 each. $20 for a chair, $20 for an umbrella. There's a little restaurant selling alcoholic drinks. There's nice little restrooms. This is one of my favorites. And because I'm the weirdo, I figured I'd climb up top. What's up? Hey! Top of the world. High view for you like a drone shot, ah. So from looking at the map, this is Horseshoe Bay, and then we have like five more beaches all down to the left. And it looks like we got some rain coming in. This whole vacation, uh, coming to Bermuda. We came last year and I'll tell you we had the most beautiful weather the whole time in July. We've now come in March and weather's not so good. And while Chelsea's over there at the beach, I'm gonna look in the... She said this looks like Oklahoma. I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> There's lots of coral and you can't put your knees on it because this stuff is super sharp. Oh Lord. So nevertheless, it looks like you could like walk from horseshoe down like all of these if you want to be wearing wet shoes. Isn't this amazing? You freak out because I just randomly walk up the side of mountains. <laughs> To get up there. Where? Good luck. There might be a dip right before it. Go, go while the water's down. Okay, so while we're at the pink sand beach, I guess that makes her pinky and I'm the brain. It's nesting. Yeah, it made itself a little nest down there. That's a pretty birdie. I can say this is probably why a lot of people talk about Horseshoe Bay. And now I gotta get back on this little path without getting soaking wet. Kelsey's first. I did it. Didn't even get my foot wet. Right up to get past those first rocks when we walked around to the other one, that is called Butts Beach. And then we're gonna head down the road a couple of miles and try to get to the next set of beaches. Now after a short five minute ride, we ended up at Warwick's Bay. So I'm pretty sure if you really, really, really wanted to, this one's close enough where you could actually just walk from the other one. But this is gonna be another beach with like nothing at it. It's just a beach. Bring pack your lunch or stuff like that. 
And here's your pink sand. You can see the pink in there. Mom, we went to the wrong beach. There's a group of kids here. And other than that, this whole beach is empty. Pretty nice. Get a pink lawn. The water eroded in there or something. But how does a plant grow right there? Sinking in uh, big sand. Hey, what beach are we at now, Jeff? We're at the Irish pub beach because our butts are sore and we got lost three times. And we ended up by another private golf course that's like $600 a round. Side note, if you're looking for a great place to eat in Hamilton, Flanagan's Irish Club. Our wait staff has been wonderful. So I'm not gonna shit you. On this island somewhere, we're not able to find it yet. And we have like four hours or three and a half hours to go. There's a place called Jeffrey's Hole. It's right near Butts Beach. <laughs> so yeah, we did do um, the whole lap around the golf course. Ended up way up almost to St. George. Had to come back six kilometers, eight kilometers back to Hamilton because we we're hungry. So we're gonna eat here at the Irish Pub. It's we're right down where the ferry docks. So if you are on the cruise ship and you take the ferry, you're gonna pop out maybe like two blocks from here. Hey, what do you think so far of Bermuda the second time around? I'm not a ginormous fan of going anywhere twice when there's so many new places on the planet to go to. But here's the thing. If you got to go somewhere twice, Bermuda and taking the getaway by NCL is probably the best one because that's the first ship we were on together. And then Bermuda is just oh. freaking awesome. I love Bermuda. It's so Bermudaful. Okay, because we're crazy, we're kind of running out of time. It's one o'clock, but we made it up to a special place and it's called Spittle Pond. And we haven't had to really hike anywhere or walk. So we're gonna try to huff this skinny moo cows. We have a major reason why we picked this location to be the one we just had to make it to. If you watched the blue hole video from our last trip to Bermuda, we are better prepared this time because when you get cut from like 90 hours down to about 40 hours, you just can't quite get everything done. No, and it's disappointing, but you know what? We're still on a cruise. We're in Bermuda. Hello, chicken. We found water. All right, so this is the South Shore. There's cactuses in Bermuda. Even if this is all we see, the trip's worth it. Thorn. Uh, cactus. cactus. She just called it a thorn. A Sorry, cactus. that was a cactus. You're the thorn. Ooh, burn. Holy hell balls. Holy hell, yes. This is called the checkerboard, the limestone oddly created by nature. It's the cracks we just walked over. Which one is it? is it? Okay, so the next spot we're gonna hit is the whole reason we came here. Where are you going, baby? I don't know where the hell I'm going, I'm just excited. It's beautiful. Look, we have stairs. We have to take the stairs, Chelsea. We're gonna find it. Let's go. Got it. I think we found the place we've been looking for. Here we go. We came all the way here to get to Jeffrey's Cave. If you Googled it, it's gonna say Jeffrey's Hole. <laughs> so we are now at Jeffrey's Hole. Y'all about to see my hole. Holy Lord have mercy, look at the size of my hole. So the guy who's afraid of cliffs and heights is attempting to make his way down into Jeff's cave hole. Jane, if you're watching, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to zoom in on you, baby. Woo! There we go. Look at Jeff in, in his hole. Was that incredible? Yes. Woo! You can see the actual hole. My hole is beautiful. So we got up. As high as I could go, we were trying to get an overlook over to see the actual spot where the water comes rushing through. And we found this cool little cave. Don't ask me why that's up here, 
by Jeffrey's Hole. Have fun with that, guys. So it looks like I can't get through here, so we gotta go back. The actual spot where water shoots through and causes all that craziness in the shoreline right there. It's pretty damn cool. So if you keep going north around the 24 acres, we found this another amazing spot where there's a baby pool that the water's warm as hell you can sit in. I'm gonna get in. Well, I was actually just gonna walk in right here. There you go. Is it comfy? See him inside. Oh, you can see him in there. Oh, dude, it's blowing bubbles. So that was awesome. And now, now we're gonna head back. Whew. You wanna hang out there all day? Yeah. If you're in Bermuda, do the adventures. Okay, so this one was called the Rocky Shoreline and Tide Pools. There's another path right here. And Chelsea's like, where are you going? And I'm like, I just have to know. Now we're all the way on the other side of where we just were. And look at this. Holy crap. Well, I don't even know the name of this, but it's really close to Glass Beach, back where we started at the very beginning. But they have a nice little pull-off area right here, and it's a park. But what's really cool is we got some pictures the other night from this little walkway. I wonder what's at the bottom of this hole. Hey! Come on down. Be the next contestant on the beach is right when i say beach i mean chelsea she has now officially said that i could call her my beach look there's some people out <laughs> snorkeling well actually we have about 45 minutes to get the bike back and we are about 10 minutes from the port so we are going to soak up every single minute we can i i i want to walk out there Mela, walk out there yeah i'm about to go in the water so Okay. A little rocky. I mean, that's the dog I want. <laughs> Chelsea's trying to steal people's dogs. I don't think they're going to let you bring a dog back from Bermuda. I don't think so. It's like, I want attention and I'm going to get it. Sorry, my dad. Oh, you're happy. He's out for pets. I'm rising. I think I'd probably have to change the dog's name. What's the dog's name? Fine. Isis. Yeah. Final ride back to the cruise ship, and we'll show you the last little mile. That's the last beach we got to go to. Oh, gorgeous. Man, I could have stayed at that little beach forever. You could stay at any beach forever. No, but when you have time limit, you know, whatever. Here comes the cruise ship. When you read those scooters over there, it's a five minute walk back to the getaway. B-roll. Let's find out what's next. Shoo.